Hey guys, Akshay here and today I'll be showing you guys how to install Android 4.3 on your PC. So first off what you need is VirtualBox. So go ahead, go to Google and search up VirtualBox. Click on the first link which is Oracle VM VirtualBox. Go to the downloads and download the file according to your operating system since I'm using Windows. I'll click this link and it should take a few minutes or a few seconds. Now since I've already download, downloaded this, I'm going to cancel it and close this. Now the next thing you need is the operating system. So go ahead to android-x86.org and this is a porting website for PC from Android. So click on the downloads on the left and Control F and search for 4.3 and click on the view right here. And this should download the ISO or the image file for the operating system Android 4.3. Alright, so once you have downloaded the ISO image, go ahead to this and click show in folder and drag this to wherever you want. I'll drag it to my desktop and here it is. So now what you want to do is open up VirtualBox. And if you just install this, you probably won't have any operating systems over here. So on the top left, click on New. And we'll name this Android 4.3. And for type, go ahead and click Linux. And for version, scroll down all the way and click Other Linux. Now click on Next. And you will want a minimum of 1 gigabyte RAM. But for this tutorial, I'll go ahead and type in 2 gigabytes. And we also want to create a hard drive, a virtual hard drive, for our Android. So we want to create one. Make sure it is a VDI, which is set by default. Click Next. And we want to go with dynamically allocated. This is slower than fixed size, but it takes up a lot less space. So we'll just go ahead and press Next. And be sure to have at least one gigabyte for the installation. I'll be using eight gigabytes because it is set as default. So go ahead and just click Create and it should be really quick. Now go to settings and under display make your video memory to the max and enable 3D acceleration and now click here on storage and under the controller ID click on the empty disk icon and click over here and choose your virtual hard drive go to desktop and search for your Android disk image file or ISO that you downloaded and click OK and we want to check live CD slash DVD and press OK again and now click start alright so once you've pressed start you should get this um, window and it should be starting now you will get this boot menu go ahead all the way down to the bottom and click installation now click create slash modify partitions and press enter and what you want to go to right and enter on new and we want a primary and just keep pressing enter and now keep going all the way to the right until you get to the last which is right click enter again and type in yes and click OK and now it will be writing the partition table to the disk now this is not your actual hard drive it is the virtual hard drive we created okay so once we've done that go all the way right and until you get to quit and click enter okay so once you're at this menu go ahead and click on the first option and you want it to be in ext file system format so click enter on that yes you want to partition it or format it, my bad. And yes, we want the bootloader. And click yes again. We want it to be a read write. And just wait. Okay, now it has installed successfully. So just press down and enter on reboot. And it should reboot. But once it has done re 
rebooting, we will come back to this menu. So what you want to do is go to machine, close, and shut it down or power off really quickly. And click on Android 4.3, go to settings again, go to your storage, and on this one, you want to delete or remove. And just click OK. And now, once you start, it should boot from the main hard drive. And just click enter. OK. 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 And here we have Android 4.3 running. Just wait for it to uh, boot up. Okay, one change that you do want to make is go to machine, disable mouse integration, and so now you can see your mouse and just click in here and you should see the mouse now. Whoops, okay. Start. You might get some annoying sound once you've pressed start, but that should go away in a second. Okay, that should take about 30 seconds or so, and for select Wi-Fi, we just want to skip that. Skip anyway. And this annoying sound should start again, but uh, we're just going to skip Google account for now also. Uh, not now. Okay, wait, it's date and time, yes, everything's correct, alright, just type in your name, and click next, and just click next, and finish, our tablet is ready to use, here are the instructions, and if you use your scroll on your mouse, you can scroll through the different widgets. And it does run really smoothly, actually. Yeah, we can also scroll over here. And let's check the web browser, see if it works. Yeah, see, it does work even if you don't have Wi-Fi. And this should use the Chrome browser, I believe. And it runs really smooth, actually. So... Let's go back to our home and our in, our in our settings app you can see that yes about tablet this is Android 4.3 model number virtual box but there you go guys this is Android 4.3 running on your PC um, so anyways, uh, have fun with it. Um, thanks for watching. Remember to comment, like this video, and subscribe for more tech tips, tricks, and tutorials. And I'll see you guys later.